Hello and welcome to today's video. I'm Tony and today we're back and we've we're back on our factor and we've gone and got the F1 2017 cars. Oh my god! Okay, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. What's the procedure, everyone? What's the procedure? What's the procedure? Stay f***ing calm! Wait, 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 wait. Yes, um, F1 2017 cars, it is actually happening now. Uh, literally, I'm recording this off the back of the Australian Grand Prix. Um, this mod it was made by Palin Ho. I'll leave a link to the mod in the description. And I have to say, this mod is actually brilliantly made considering the time scale because the season's only just started and we're already given this. I mean, I'm just gonna, I mean, look at the cars, look at this. I'm just gonna quickly take you through them. They are built, made to exquisite detail. I mean, well, oh my, what's that on the Force India? Ugh. No, thank you. No, but as I was saying, these cars, given the time limit um, between the cars being unveiled and the start of the season, the way this mod has come out is absolutely exceptional. Um, I have have to say, though, this is actually going to be my first drive. I haven't actually tested this mod yet, so I have no clue how I'm going to do with this. Absolutely no clue at all, so... I also have to say the car the car models are actually spot on as well, as is the liveries. Um, Sauber actually, it's, it's close this year in terms of liveries. I think the Sauber, the uh, Toro Rosso may get the best livery award. Oh, and he's made his own team as well. That's nice. It's quite nice. No. Ah, McLaren. McLaren, what has happened to you? Oh, I am so sorry for these guys at the moment. I really am. But Mercedes, 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 Mercedes. New driver, Valtteri Bottas. Yeah, I think we're going to go for a Mercedes. I've actually never driven a Mercedes on this channel. So, first time for everything. So, okay. In a Mercedes is for my first time on this channel. Starting last. Do like a bit of a challenge. Lewis Hamilton lines up to next to me on the back on the back row which is a an odd place for a Mercedes these days in Formula 1 so we're going to go for a five lap race around Circuit of the Americas lights out and away we go and it's a horrible start, I can never seem to get a good start in a Formula 1 car, I, I just can't, it's always eluded me so first corner didn't we take it nice and easy uh, that's Gro that was Grosjean, no I'm sorry that was Magnussen, sorry um, still last, trying to go around the outside of Lewis Hamilton, Grosjean and Alonso. It's the big trout, it's big trousers and the Spaniard. <laughs> uh, uh, don't slip me for that. Someone's already lost their front, Hamilton's back pass, there's a Salvo on the outside, that's Marcus Ericsson. Hamilton's being, um, a bit of a forceful move. That might help. i turn that off. Let's start this again, because I didn't realise that was on. Um... Yes, bit, I've got. It's been so long since I've been on our factor, I've forgotten all my settings. So, lights out and away we go for the second time. And, yep, yeah, reasonable start. Rubbish start. Woeful start! Right. No, <laughs> as both my fronts, my suspension's buggered and my wings gone to Narnia. <laughs> Bugger. Right third time and I'm still trying to get a feel for this 2017 car and yeah it's still in the limited distance limited miles I've driven and it, it actually feels pretty good to drive actually so as long as the car model's been pretty good it feels very good to drive as well um, down inside again we're up to we're down 13th 13th 13th's good 13th's good um, that's Perez, Raikkonen, and Ericsson, or oh, Perez, no, that's Ocon, sorry, Esteban Ocon, oh, today is it, um, touching tyres with him again, trying to go down the inside, we've sold Raikkonen the dummy, so, and the rear side of our car has just taken a massive whack, you can see on the little, um, display in the bottom right, <laughs> it's all red along the side, so, okay, no matter, we'll continue. We're up into 11th. Um, we weren't going to make a move on Ericsson. We were too far back. 
Um, but trying to... Ho -ho! No. Bad move. Bad, bad move there. Try to put the power down a little too early there. Um, oh, yes. They, they are saying these cars are tougher to drive. Um, forgive me, I've only had experience on, uh, for an F1 car on the Codemasters game, so I've never normally had an F1 car on R Factor. So, um, I've been quite looking forward to driving these cars. That is Jolian Palmer. Um, just want to go down the inside of him. We've gone down the inside Alonso. I was also thinking about making a move down the inside of one of the Haas cars. And we've just got no power off the line. Alonso's back past us. Uh, oh, Alonso. Hold it flat round there, as you do. Uh, Hamilton's next, our teammate. So we're going to go for a bit of a dive bomb into the final corner. That has worked. And... Uh, we're now starting to put the power down. And... Ooh, sparks kicking up from the rear of our car. I like this. I am liking this mod more and more. But... Going to try and go down the inside of Daniel Kvyat. He's not worked. He has held it around the outside. So... Going to try and get him through the S's section. Uh, so that's one, two. That's a good start. That's good. That's good. Stoffel van Dorn next in the um, orange McLaren Honda. Which we're doing with no problem. Raikkonen, another Finn. Uh, who I, was it? Raikkonen who made contact with us earlier in the earlier in the race. I'm not sure, but sizing up to me, Raikkonen now, and we're going off the track, trying to get back on. I want to have it, give it a fair move back down the inside of Raikkonen, and that is not what we've run wide, and the car just. I don't know with this car. The thing is, though, if you're in the wrong rev range, you have no power. No power at all. And Van Dorn's coming back past us. That's a Honda in the back of this car, in the back of that McLaren. This is a Mercedes Works car. How does that happen on a straight? Back's kicked out a bit while trying to put the power down. And how did that happen? How did Van Dorn get past us? It makes no sense down the inside of the McLaren Ocon making contact with the front of or the rear of that pink Force India. I will say this though with 2017, the variations in the livery. Oh my! Whoa! How close did we come to hitting the back of Ocon there? I have absolutely no clue. Not a clue. What was I saying? Yes, the variations in this year's livery, I've, I'm actually quite liking it. We've got, we've got blue, we've got orange, we've got yellow, we've got pink, we've got red. I'm, it's very much a departure from last season because most of the teams have been adopting black, dark coloured based liveries. It just makes them more pure generic. So, I like the fact that they're adding a bit more colour into Formula 1. Farline! No! Berline! What? No! This is why you didn't get the Mercedes drive. What was Verline doing there? Absolutely no clue at all. But lights out and away we go again. Trying to go around the outside of Kivya, turns into the inside. Verstappen is in front of us and trying to get a good run on the exit here. Oh, for the love of the. Ah! That's our front wing gone again. How many times am I going to. Well, I must, I must cost the teams loads of money. Bye, Verstappen. Oops. <laughs> Oops, did it. Oh! Oh! Can you even call that a car now? Look at the deformation. I love that. I love the detail in this mod. Right. Um, that didn't go according to that. So, second time at Silverstone. Um, hoping for a good start. Lights out and away we go. And no. Is it too much to ask for a normal start, please? I don't want to have to constantly be left... Of uh, Ericsson. Um, was Bottas and the Mercedes was off, so whoops. How? 
every it seems like every drive I'm on the drive for just ends up at the back of the bridge. So, oh, oh. Um, rear end stepping out Van Dorn earlier, just a bit of a forceful move. And yeah, this the car's handling. It's you can drive it, but occasionally it will try and um, snap back on you. Bottas go? No, he doesn't actually. So I'm a, I'm a, a Honda has defended against him. No, it, no, no, no. That's too much to ask. Well, has he? Aye, this is looking good. This is looking good. Eric's. What was Ericsson doing there? What are you doing, man? What a lot. Anyway, um. Cox, can we take it flat out? We cannot take the Cox flat out. And I think the stewards. The stewards might think that was an illegal overtake. So we're gonna let. Wow. Bottas. 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 Bot Ericsson, he's all over our heels as well now. Come on, McLaren, Honda, Hybrid. No, no. Ericsson's passed. Seriously? What is with this McLaren? I'll tell you what, the creator of this mod has got the McLaren spot on. Incredibly slow in a straight line. And uh, what part of the car just got hit there? I'm pretty sure that the top part of the... Is that the top part of the nose? Cone, I have no clue. No. But what was I saying? Yes, the creator has made the McLaren Honda incredibly slow and straight lines. That's that's actually pretty good. And Ericsson has just... Oh, he's left me for chips. He has absolutely left me for chips in this McLaren. I love the fact that the back steps out a lot. Um... I think we're going to try and close down on Mark Sensor. E emphasis on the try. Try. Okay, try. It's worth five points in rugby. Try and get past Ericsson. I think our best chance will be through the corners. Which I think we are actually suggesting. So, there we go. I'm going to sneak it down the inside of Ericsson. It's going to be good. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I've made weird sounds in my time, but I've never made anything like that. Down the inside. Down the inside of Vettel. The cops. Ah, uh, no. No, he's back past us. He's back past us. Again. Okay. I'm trying through the... Oh, fuck. Again, I've lost my front... Ugh. Absolutely. I've lost my front wing. Again. So apparently I can't even do a single five lap race on R Factor now. My life has absolutely no meaning. Um, I think this is going to be my final attempt, I'm not sure. So away we go for the final time in this video. And we're looking to get a good start. Vessel's on the inside. Ericsson's on the outside. Oh, for the... <sighs> oh dear. <laughs> and that's another quarter of a million pound front wing gone. Into the <laughs> into the barrier. How much height did we get? Oh, Perez! Oh, how lucky was Perez? <laughs> I've got to admit though, that is one way to overtake. <laughs> Can't be bothered. <laughs> I'm not even being serious anymore. I'm just on this for the fun. <laughs> that is one way to overtake. How lucky was Perez? And that car's written off. How lucky was Perez, though? Because I don't care about rules. Let's try Silverstone in reverse. <laughs> Perez wasn't so lucky that time. Oh dear, <laughs> that's definitely written off that car. Perez is out as well. There goes Hamilton. Oh, Verline, the two Williams cars. Science is causing a roadblock. I'm causing a roadblock actually. Um, <laughs> the Ferrari just plows into the back of me. Grosjean and Van Dorn. Van Dorn spun. <laughs> I am I am not being serious anymore. Van Dorn 
Van Dorn! <laughs> Van Dorn! Are you in a straight line now? Yes, you're in a straight line now. Can he? Yeah, he's definitely in a straight line now. He's at the end of the straight. Um, uh, let's try Spectre. <laughs> I, I, I couldn't be a cam... I'm... <laughs> no, no. I, I couldn't be a cameraman in F1 either. Um, just, just look at the car. Look at the car. Look at the car. What car? That car? <laughs> no. No, I couldn't be a cameraman in F1 either. But... <clears throat> but anyway, guys, I oh, don't know what happened. My voice is now going. Anyway, guys, I hope you have enjoyed today's video. Um, I don't think... I don't know, should I return to this once I've got a little more practice? Because towards the end, I felt like a bit of a joke. So, yeah, pay driver and all that. But anyway, guys, um, one, for, one quick thing before I go. I'd like to say I'm actually sorry at the moment. My lack of activity on YouTube, it's been virtually non-existent I've been very busy with work and everything but now hopefully I can start to improve upon that so you should hopefully see maybe a few videos now and again I'm not actually going to be sticking to a schedule now so maybe once a month I don't know but anyway guys thank you so very much for watching today's video and I'll see you guys next time goodbye <laughs>